Hi, welcome to We Play Golf. Today I'm going to show you a little trick to control your spin on your chipping. Very easy. Welcome back to We Play Golf, the golf channel where you easily learn to play golf. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Today I'm going to give you a little bit more explanation on how you can control your spin in chipping. Now, I won't be using a lob wedge, I'm only using a 52 degree gap wedge. I've got five balls laying, I've got one club giving me an idea of where the target is, and what I'll do is I'll keep the ball position always into the middle of the stance. I will keep my weight always slightly to the front foot, and I'll always keep my hands very passive, but the line of play will change. If the ball was in the middle, and that's the white ball that I'm going to be playing, that's the third one. If I keep the club in the same target line, I would say that the club is now moving on the line, down the line, through the line. From that shot, I expect the ball to go on 52 degrees up and just have a few bounces and a few rolls, but not as much. If you chip from a shallow movement, more from the inside and through, it will create more topspin and the ball will roll more. So only by moving the club, instead of you going on the line, inside the line and back, you promote the club to give the ball more topspin. If I make the movement more to the outside, which is out in, it will give you more backspin and it might go a little higher. So if I do this five shots, try to see the difference. When I play the blue balls, I'll be shallow. So I'll take it more in, out, as you would like to do it with your driver or with your fairway woods. You swing shortly, in, out, and that ball will just keep running and running and rolling because it has top spin. Show you again, hitting the ball in the middle of the club. Make that contact from a shallow plane, low, low, and it will roll. It might go a little bit left because you go in, in. To give you another view on this shots, the two blue ones will go lower because I make that shallow attack angle. A little bit from in to out movement. Now you'll see the ball jumping and then rolling out of the ball. I'll do it again. I've got the shallow impact. One, two. Bump and run. That was a club face from in to out. A little bit shut through the ball. Next one I go straight on the line. This is a straight chip. Straight up, straight down. There's less deviation. And then the two red balls, I'll be playing those slightly from the outside. So I, I give myself the room to get the clip outside, a little steeper, and then down to the ball. That ball goes higher and it'll have more spin. It will stop faster. Do that again. Not shallow, not on the line, but a little steeper. There's no wrist action. And the ball goes a lot higher and it'll stop faster. We have a little steeper angle of attack. It will create more height to the ball and a little bit more spin. So I might need a little bit more speed. Second one, play it a little steeper. The ball will go higher and it should stop faster. So next time when you train your chipping, you might use three different types of balls, or colored balls, to see what the difference is when you make a chip from in to out, out to in, or on the line. This is how we play golf. See you next time. Now we've got the normal position, the white ball, which is 52 degrees gap wedge, just straight on line, one line up, one line down. a little higher therefore I had to give it a little bit more speed Ooh, get in
Almost.